Hi, I'm Staley with the Catamaran Company. We're in Fort Lauderdale. This is Romer, a 2018 Aquila 48, four cabin, four head, power cat, available for sale now. The flybridge on the boat is fully enclosed. You can see it's an enclosure 360 all the way around. All these panels can be opened and closed. So these are a little harder panels. They can probably get cleaned up a bit and then they secure here to open up this entire space. It's a large dining table with two fold down leafs. I mean, I think you've got seating here easily for, for eight to 10 people. These leaves fold down to make a narrower table, maybe for cocktails. We got some storage back there. They've got some tables and some safety equipment. Also the forward cushions that go up on the bow. So we have an electric grill, a sink. This is the top of the grill and some of the grill components. There's a storage area here for some washing up and a refrigerator. And then when this isn't being used, it closes down and makes a nice serving area. We have a great set of instrumentation. This is the Raymarine chart plotter. Right now we're looking at it split in a quarter, three quarter display. You can see the video camera aft. This is really useful helping you back into a slip. You can easily see both of the transoms and a good way to keep an eye on your dinghy when you're underway. This is the chart plotter display. The boat's here in Fort Lauderdale on the New River. So you'll see that we're at Lauderdale Marine Center. Volvo, a multifunction display here. This provides very detailed information on all the operations of the engines. We have a bow thruster control here. This maneuvers the bow of the boat side to side. It's one thruster in one of the hulls. Over here, we've got the Raymarine autopilot and the multifunction display here. So this will give us a number of different displays as we scroll through the screens. Lat launch, speed over ground, depth. We've got a yacht controller. This allows the boat to be operated wirelessly. There's entrances from the flybridge that go direct down to the bow. This one's zipped, I just opened this one up. So we'll walk through here and have a look. This panel unzips and is removable when not in use. And the Aquila 48 has this great feature of being able to walk from the flybridge forward to the foredeck. Most boats you have to go aft, down a flight of stairs, either into the salon, or the aft cockpit. So this is very handy for shorthanded docking. Two people can handle docking and operating this boat very, very easily. There's a set of cushions that fits in this space. They're stored up there on the side in the flybridge right now. And there's also two backrests. You got bow seats, cleats. This is a roller for a secondary anchor. Primary anchor is located here with a bridle system that's very easy to attach. Just over here we have the anchor windlass. You can see here there's a wired remote for the anchor windlass, a washdown. Here's the switch to turn the washdown pump on and off. Anchor windlass, a very deep chain locker so you can carry lots of anchor road without having it pile up. There's two water tanks on the, on the boat. There's a fill here on this side and one on the other. And a very new feature for this boat is a water maker. So what we're looking at here are two redundant water pumps. So if one were to go down, it's very easy to switch to the backup. And then on this side, this is a water maker that was just recently installed. So that was installed in December, 2022. You can also see there's a water tank here, some water toys, battery compartment, and really a lot of storage if you wanted. In this forward locker, there's additional battery up here for the bow thruster. We've got the bow thruster breaker controls there. And this is an enormous space, you get cleaned up a little bit, but whatever water sports equipment you wanna bring or additional accessories, you've got them here on the boat, very easy to access. If you look back up here on the top of the flybridge, you can see there's a loud hailer there on the left side. That's connected to the VHF mic. You have the searchlight there in the front and the Raymarine dome at the top. That's a 24 mile ray dome. This Ford cockpit area is very nice. It's possible to enclose this space. 
One of the nice features of this boat is that you have a forward opening cockpit door, which is quite popular in the larger cats that we build. And it gives you a very nice flow through the boat, particularly if you're at anchor. There's two speakers up here forward, so you've got sound. This is a Northern Lights generator. It's just had the fuel filters changed. These are two Raycors on a very nice fuel polishing system. You've got a fire suppression equipment there. Generator's in good shape, and it has just had an oil change. The aft settee area. Four cup holders, the table goes up and down. You've got a nice upholstered sitting area here. You've got a dinghy behind me with a 15 horse Yamaha. You've got a set of davits and these lines here raise and lower the dinghy. You can see it goes through blocks and attaches to the bridle that lifts the dinghy. And there's a button here that operates that uh, to put it down or to bring it up. This lid opens and closes to secure the bar area. This is stone, by the way, it's very nice material, just like all the finish work on the Aquilas. It closes and secures here to seal up the, the boat. You can go from secure underway to ready to party. So we'll have a look at the engine compartments here. Up underneath this side, we've got the Raycor fuel filter. That was just recently replaced and looks clean. And there's a fire suppression system in here as well. And this engine compartment is sealed from the rest of the boat. So there's no need to lift up the aft cabin berth to access any of the mechanical systems on the engines. Up underneath here, there's two Glen Denning reels for both the 50 amp shore power cords. One side of that's for the AC systems. The other side of that is for the 110 volt and 220 volt uh, electrical systems on board. Let's see, we got another uh, Volvo D6 330 here. And on this side, we've got the steering controls. That's a electric pump for the hydraulic lines for the steering. Back behind me, we've got some galvanic isolators and the Raycor fuel filter system, the strainer for the engine, and the Fireboy suppression system. We also have a chilled water system. This is a Dometic AC system. And then we also have the controller for that system. Once again, the boat's laid out, you know, very well. You've got a strainer system for the AC. Your seacocks are all here, easy to access. Fuel tanks there, easy to access. Fuel valves. Everything's within reach and not difficult to get to. This is the raw water connection. So if you're gonna be in a marina for a while, you can connect a hose directly to the boat. So you're not having to fill up water tanks every few days on it if you're living dockside. This is a shower, pulls out for showering off here on the swim platform after a swim. You've got a very nice ladder that folds down. This is the fitting for the, for the emergency tiller that's located in the engine compartment. So if you were to have a steering failure, it's quite easy to have a backup system there. 